starting right off when you got the script and you saw the characters and the time frame what were your thoughts and what attracted you to these roles um, um well i felt like first of all it was when i read the scripts i felt like it was written so beautifully and so heartbreaking little marvin literally wrote it like poetry it just felt I was honestly, it's one of the most beautiful pieces of writing I've ever read. And so that drew me to the, the, the story, but also how much love and care and intention was put into creating Lucky. I felt like, you know, I read a lot of, of scripts and I feel like the black people usually, um, and especially the black women, all the people of color, honestly, are written so one dimensionally on one note and I felt like this story was written by someone who truly understands. And so that drew me to playing Lucky. And when I sat with him uh, for an hour, I just felt like, okay, this, this is gonna happen. Sign me up, sign me up. Yeah, for, for me, it was like, you know, I read this, I, I received the first four scripts. And um, as Deborah said, it was, the way it was written was easy to read. Like it was difficult material, but usually I, I tend to look at, if I can read a script quickly, then I can get into it. If it takes me long, it, it sort of means I'm not as interested as I, as I would be. But looking at the character of Henry, I saw a black man who loved his wife unconditionally, loved his children unconditionally, someone who was present physically, emotionally. And then it's written by someone who looks like me, right? So he understands the journey of what it is to be a black man in the world. So with those sort of elements and those extra layers and nuances, that's what drew me to the character. And when I first read the script, I was, I've been saying it, but I was really scared to play, like to even put myself up for this, for this role. Cause it was so, yeah, it's scary because it's horror, but not that element, the, the weight that this piece had, the weight that this, character in Henry has to carry on his shoulders. He has to carry his family and he's he has all this responsibility to take care of the kids, make sure his wife is good and also hold down the job. So for me, it was just making sure that I could do this piece justice and play all the notes right and, and be emotionally present for this character. Because it's at the end of the day, it's not about me, it's about the character. So as far as horror as a genre, you mentioned that for both of you, there is the real world aspect of the horror in the script, and then obviously the supernatural or you know, horror element. For you, what is self-care like when working on a project like this, or does it even enter? Is it just the same as with any other character or role? Um, for me, even though I... I probably could have done a better job during the process of making sure I took care of myself, but um, self-care looked like hanging out with the Emery's on a random Sunday when we're off just in our regular clothes and just taking all of us to the movies and just watching something funny. Self-care was for me therapy that I got during the process and afterwards. Um, I really applaud uh, production because they they actually had a therapist on call for anybody who needed um, who needed help kind of navigating a moment or it was triggered by anything that would happen. Um, so those two things were 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 very present during the process and just it took me a while afterwards to kind of get back to myself. I have to be honest, you know, I kept one foot in lucky for the entire process, even when we were off, even when we were paused because of the pandemic, I felt what I kept one foot in her because I felt like if I came completely out, it was gonna be difficult to get back in. So um, I didn't really fully dive into self care until we were completely done. Cause I really wanted to give lucky the most just authentic, most honest representation I could. So, yeah. Oh, my God.